flat out, Dragon's Dogma 2 is an awful game. No punches pulled, no nonsense. <laughs> I haven't raged at a game in so long. Developers, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Not apologetic. Nonsense. So right off the bat, I beat the game. You know, I'm not one of these dudes who played it for 20 minutes and is saying it's garbage. The reason I hate this game so much is because I wanted to love it. It shouldn't have been hard to love it. This isn't a hard formula. You know, <laughs> this type of game has been made, what, two dozen times? Well, you know, it's a Sky, or even before Skyrim, you could say Oblivion or maybe even Final Fantasy VII. You know, this type of formula has been around for a long time. It almost seemed like they needed an extra year of development. For example, how hard is it to make an in-game map? H have you had anything in this game where you'll look at your map and you'll say, okay, I need to go left here. And then you'll start heading left and then you'll check your map a minute later and you're going the opposite direction. Yeah. North in the game doesn't seem to be north on the map. So in other words, if you're facing this way and you pop open your map and it shows you you're really facing this way. It's uh, who fucked that up? You know what I mean? Like I've never seen that before where you constantly have to be in your map, out your map, and your mini map is useless because they cram so much stuff in yeah. there, you know? It just sucks. And let's talk about combat. Should we talk about combat? It is dreadful. <laughs> There's no lock on. What is this, 1942? Yeah, that's the uh, one thing. So I've been enjoying the game, but that is my mm. biggest fucking irk with it is the... No rolling, dodging. There's or really not any sort not, of dodge. Or they say on. there is, but and the block seems kind of fucking useless too. <laughs> yeah, even the the parry I found kind of was hit or miss, you know. Because I'm a Souls player. If, if you throw a good parry system in front of me, I'm ching ching ching. Yeah. You know, I'm dropping bombs on him. What really sucks is okay. Let's say you have a what is it? Three pawns that you can have uh, beside. Yeah, so. Yeah, There's, your main one that all, is always with you, then you can hire two more. Yeah, the little little butt dogs. And uh, <laughs> so let's say that's four, and you run across uh, two people on the trail that are fighting something, right? So now it's six people fighting something. You can't see what's going on. There's magic. There's flames. <laughs> and if it's a... If it's Pure a, chaos. If it's a big boss like an ogre, I found my, myself inside of his bum hole. <laughs> Did that happen to you? Like where you're inside the character and you can see like the it's 3D model times. of him? Or you'll yeah. do some like moves, some special move where you have to jump up and like come down or something and you always end up latching onto him. Or And that sucks with... Uh, it's not so bad with like the ogres or cyclops or whatnot, but if you get like a griffin or something that can fly and you latch yeah, on, and he just it. takes you up yeah. and then just drops you. <laughs> but that latch on thing was one thing I relied on because uh, I had it as one of the uh, the uh, the special moves I could do. And if something were to fall on the ground, like one of them poison lizards or something, and you do that jump up move onto them, they can't get up. And you can just hit them repeatedly yeah. until they're dead or you get hit. You know, I did find that was also useful for like the Medusa fight. I don't know if you fought Medusa. Not yet. But yeah, climbing up her and then slicing her gullet off, you know, I did enjoy that. But ultimately, I think this is a good or uh, a bad game <laughs> full of good ideas. I'm always over encumbered in this game. No matter how many beetles I munch on, <laughs> I'm giving something, always giving something to a party member. Yeah. So at one point, I'm headed to a place called um, Dragon's Breath Tower, I believe it's called. Yeah, that's what I believe I just completed that dragon there. It's way up this pass, yeah. right? So Curves all the way. Oh, it was difficult. And nothing but fucking goblin battles oh, all the way there. The whole way. <laughs> so you cross a bridge towards the, towards the top there, okay? Yeah. And my pawn decides, pawn decides that he just wants to jump off. So he jumps off, and he just happened to be the one who had the camping equipment, right? <laughs> so I get through that with, like, two hits left, and then I hit the uh, the fire pit. I can't camp, and I know it's a big thing that's, that's about to, to happen. I made camp and then got attacked in the middle of it, and they destroyed it. So now yeah. I make sure I got two in my inventory, and each one of my pawns has one. I think the game knew some stuff like that would happen because I go into that tower and, like, you get, like, swarmed on by enemies. Yeah. And then there's a camping set in there. 
And then I was fighting that dragon up there. About every other camp that I've stumbled upon, there's usually one like off to the side. Is there? Yeah. See, I always had one on me. It was just, I, and I probably wouldn't have picked up a second one anyways because they weigh so damn much. Yeah, like seven or eight pounds. It's, and it's then outrageous. I'm at that dragon fight, and I think I'm under leveled. But I don't want to do the whole, because fast travel more or less doesn't exist. I didn't want to have to make the trek all the way down the path, level up just to come all the way back up. So I just, I winded up, uh, the I baited the dragon and he flew like uh, you fight him on the roof or one of the levels yeah. there. He flew into one of the stairways and then that's he couldn't. Yeah, that's, what you, me. that's how he yeah. fucking finally got through it. Is he got stuck in there. Yeah, that's that's so I just wailed on his great, face. But that also speaks to to bad programming, <laughs> you know. That walk through that. Oh. I made that more than I like to admit. Fucking going back and forth. I get there, so I did have a camp set one time. Then I get there, I was like, realized I don't have a fucking healer with me and I'm mm. out of shit. Yeah, see, I, I've never played a game that had like a dedicated healer, but I've also never really played a game that it was like this whole game was an escort mission. Back to the poor design, <laughs> the way they do their save states. So, you know, you can choose to revive at the end, which you may not have been at an end for hours, or you just, you know, reload whatever auto save has happened. So I'm in the woods. It's dark. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Everything's more powerful than I am. And like these, I don't know what kind of enemies they are, but uh, they have these uh, curved blades and they're super fast. <laughs> So there's like four, five, six of them, right? And it's just me and my 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 solo pawn, you know? So they surround us, kill us before we know what hit us, and then I go to reload the save. I'm already in the fight. I can't run away. I can't beat them. I did this about 12 times. Reloading, dying. In, I mean, their blade's already up right here, right next to me. <laughs> dying instantly. Surprise, and then, motherfucker. That happened so many times throughout the game, like in the battle hall or whatever, that, that big area, B-A-T-T-A-H-D-L. And you would have them, uh, whatever they're called, uh, goat goblins or whatever those big ones are. Yeah. And if you lose to a fight with them, you reload the save, the music's already playing and you're already back in that fight. <laughs> yeah, I got lucky on that, that dragon. You got your health bar and then you got your like six little dots. That's another... Health bar, and he yeah. had like six or seven. Oh, yeah. I got him down to where it was just two left and died. I was like, motherfucker, it was the closest I got. At that point, too, he had made it into that little, not down the stairs yet to get stuck, but in into that. Into the little hole, yeah. And when I was running, it managed to save. So when I died, he still had just the two. It saved yeah. mid boss fight? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That I was managed definitely to go down. a glitch. I, yeah, because, well, I went down the stairs to get away, and the health bar and shit disappeared. And I got, got to thinking there, I was like, Man, I'm gonna go back up there and it's gonna start it over yep. completely. Nope, it was up there. And I think maybe in that point <clears throat> it saved and I got yeah. lucky there. <laughs> Some of them dragon fights are 30 minute boss fights. Yeah, that was my first one. So I'm sure there's more and I'm not looking forward to them at all. I wanted up playing a lot of this game without the sound on because the pawns do not shut the fuck Me up. Me too. And I'll, they just, they lie to you. How many times do yeah, you hear, oh, bullshit. there's there's a ladder. We should go up it. And yeah, I'm and like, I can't find the damn we're ladder. We're in the fucking I'll even desert. hit the go, like, go to it. Show yeah, me where it is. There's no fucking ladder. <laughs> I found out later on, if they say there's a ladder, you need to backtrack about three minutes and yeah. you'll find a ladder. <laughs> That's what I did. I tried to start following. I thought he had something cool. And it was actually, again, on that path to the dragon's tower. He took me halfway back to the fucking town. Mm, yeah. <laughs> And finally, to what we never got what he was going to. I just stopped. It's like, no. <laughs> and lots of times they'll get sucked into a fight and then you'll call them because it's a fight you don't want to be yeah. in. And then they'll wind up dying and you just got to go constantly, rescue when I'm running and rescue. Shit, I'm and... constantly hitting down. It's like, to me, to me, to me. <laughs> yeah, they don't all uh, listen very well. And Jackasses. like traveling is so tedious because it's like the game's length is artificially increased by starting at one end of the map with a mission and them saying you need to go to the other end of the map and then you got to come all the way back and then you get there and they're like yeah i'll work on it come back tomorrow yeah so you got to leave that area <laughs> find an inn you know <laughs> pay whatever money whatnot. yeah and then go back so it did seem like a lot of that stuff would just artificially um uh, just made longer, really. Yeah, and the, the map that, isn't even big. We talked about this earlier, the micro-transitions. Transactions. Can, transaction. You're yeah. a micro-transition <laughs> now. <laughs> Having the, like, spend real money on the wake stones to travel. Yeah. Not a thing. You can go to any town, 
you know, you might, it's, they're eight to 10,000 gold piece, but you go to town, every merchant, or there's the one merchant, he'll always have one. You leave the town, come back, there's going to be another one in his info. Inventory again. Is there? See, yeah, I never, I never town. even used that. I've I never, never even run used out. one. I've hardly, I haven't bought too many, but I've always had at least five in my inventory the whole game. Now, I really did like that first area. It's like the first town you go into, and there's that guy who first tells you, uh, like, there's a fake arisen, and you have to do yeah. a bunch of missions on his behalf. I thought that little area was pretty good. You know, I can't speak on all the bad without speaking on what I liked. Like sneaking into the castle and yeah. getting the armor and going into the um, the jail and having to weave around the guards and stuff. I thought that was super cool. What I thought was even cooler is one time I got caught and they beat the hell out of me. And I'm like, oh, I got to start over. They just put me in the jail. Yeah. You know, there was no start over. I got caught and it's not every jail, but you lucky you can get one where all the walls are breakable. So you just punch your way out. Oh, no, I only got arrested <laughs> once and I had a key on me. I only got arrested once, too. And I found the key after I punched a bunch of walls, but I was already out and shit. <laughs> I do wish the missions were more in-depth as well, like the Medusa mission. That could have been like a whole story arc. I know nothing thing. of this mission yet. So, so, yeah, so, so I, won't, I won't spoil anything. But, you know, that could have been a whole cool thing instead of just go here, gear, you know. I was checking the trophies after I beat the game. And only 7% of players had beheaded Medusa at this point. And only 6% had finished the game. So y'all telling me, you know, you're full of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was I was one of the pioneers of this stuff. And I, I'm not going to speak on the endings, but anybody who's made it to that point, you know, I made the decision that makes the game longer. And then after the credits roll, I did the other, da-da-da. You'll know what I, I mean. The story I thought was good. You know, good. I mean, it doesn't need to be good. It's, these are simple games to make. Right. <laughs> I mean, Assassin's Creed is basically a bootleg version of what this tried to do, and it's even better. And they put out 23 titles. Weapons not breaking. I assumed with all the nonsense we would get in this game, we'd have weapon durability. So that was pretty nice not yeah, to have right. as well. Especially um, at the price of the weapons in this game. Yeah. It's outrageous. Exploring. Uh, I, I loved Fucking exploring Biden. the little cities and the areas, and that that was great. I think I finished the game at, like, level 32 or 35, you know? That's about where I'm at right now. I think level 35, 36. So. I did like the abilities. Like, I would use the uh, shield slam. So every time I'd go into a fight, I'd run up, send them fleeing in, and if they fall on their back, I'd jump on top and do the the knife slam. Or I had that spinning one into the air where you hit, so you can get all those annoying-ass birds that yeah. take 10 I'm minutes to that, do five hits. I'm using that Mystic Spear right now. Carl, you keep pressing the X, your normal attack, mm -hmm. you keep pressing, it'll take that spear and just propel it. And anything that comes around, you're just getting chopped the fuck up. Oh, that's pretty good. And then uh, there's one that is the special that... Spin it, and it'll cause some orb that'll, like, suck them in, and then you just fucking yeet them across the fucking map. <laughs> like, yeah, they go I, fly, like, they're gone. <laughs> I just basically got the biggest, baddest sword that my character could carry and just wonked everything, you know? <laughs> and the, the final battle. I won't go into it, but it's good. Now, it's annoying because of how long it is, just like every other big battle in that game, you mm -hmm. know? But I had fun with it. It was fun finding a creative way to get it done because it does seem like the type of game where there's multiple ways to do everything or they're just supposed to be one and they just fucked up everything. So you have to find <laughs> your own ways. But at the end of the day, like I say, it was a bad game with good ideas. It was a waste of $70, a waste of time. Everyone just wait on the Elden Ring DLC. <laughs> they won't disappoint disappoint <laughs> who's the developer for this game capcom capcom fuck you capcom <laughs> that's all we have to say sound off in the comments they if stick the your panties <laughs> got moist good night not apologetic nonsense <laughs>